Hello, and welcome to another episode of That One Game Theorist, where I, M1 underscore account, analyze the latest, hottest games and find their deepest secrets. So, Stardew Valley, it's an indie hidden gem hit that's hit the gaming landscape by storm. Seemingly out of nowhere, it's proven itself to be the dark souls of farming games, but without the difficulty. If you're living under a rock, you may be asking, what's Stardew Valley? Stardew Valley is a farming simulation game for the PC, obviously taking heavy inspiration from such classic games as Harvest Moon and Stardew Valley. In this game, the player character moves to the small, rural Pelican Town as they've inherited a small plot of farmland from their grandfather. Seeking to start a new, more quiet life, the player starts a small farm and quickly becomes a part of the local community. A major feature of the game is the 10 romanceable characters. These 10 characters each have their own realistic flaws, but are all quite a catch for a single modest farmer. But, is everything as it seems? Do these seemingly normal characters have a hidden side to them beyond what the game expresses? Turning my outstanding analytical skills toward a specific character who seemed quite suspicious to me, it quickly became clear that Stardew Valley not only has the deepest lore of any game to date, but the darkest. Sebastian, a seemingly normal emo youth. Introverted, a computer nerd, a lover of motorcycles, pool, and hater of omelets. Despite the seemingly mundane nature of this young man, there was clearly a dark presence that instilled indescribable terror in this humble game analyst. Racking my brain and exploring the game for clues, I struggled to find an explanation, but then, on the Stardew Valley wiki, I found this. These show how Sebastian's appearance changed throughout the development of the game. Notice anything? No hoodie. Hoodie. What's more, look. Stardew Valley's graphics may be relatively simplistic, but it's quite clear that this overworld sprite is wearing a short-sleeved shirt. Huh. Y you may not want to accept it. You may be too shocked. But no matter how you look at it, it must be true. Sebastian is wearing a short-sleeved hoodie. Oh my god! I'm halfway through winter of year two and I still don't have a rabbit's foot. That's all I need. I don't... I have everything else. God!